I can't tell people how to spend their money. They're the ones that work for it, so they can spend it any way they want. But the minute someone says that they support me and support the trans community, and then go and spend their money on Chick-fil-A and anything Harry Potter, <sighs> including the new Harry Potter game, and claiming that is their favorite game and the only video game they play all the time. Like, I'm sorry, you don't actually support me and my community. Because you are literally are handing over your money to these companies that are majorly funding all these anti-trans and LGBTQ bills that are hurting me and people in my community. Like you have no right to say that you support us if you can't listen to us and help fund these bills. Like sorry, not sorry. You actively choose to not have our backs and the fact you can't boycott and go without those things and actively letting these companies who'd rather us be dead use your money instead of the businesses and companies that want to see us alive and thrive? Well, not gonna lie, that just rubs me the wrong way. Ugh, I have many thoughts on this, but also, I just, from the get-go, this isn't true, is it? I, that is, <laughs> like, I can't even form a rational thought in response to that because there is so much wrong with it. It's like, just a spew of lies covered in <laughs> virtue signaling. I can't, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> For what? I don't like, know how to Let's talk to about it. J.K. Rowling, right? First off, I don't think she's actually said anything that offensive or really that controversial but one thing she most certainly has not done is donate money to anti-lgbt groups pushing laws in the united states that is just factually untrue she has never done that and also i mean what laws are wanting them dead because that's what it, i was kind of like wait that they want to kill you i'm confused who yeah, what no. organizations and laws are, are going after you and want you dead that, I, i've never understood that sentiment that there's this like genocide going on it's the most the like theatrical response yeah i mean i mean i i get that there are lots of laws they perceive as anti-lgbt and we can debate whether right. they are some of them i think are not um but even then, they're not, nobody's trying to kill you. Calm down. No, Susan. it's not that serious. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> but even Chick fil A, I don't know. Right? Chick fil A, first off, is not currently funding any of these bills or involved in anything like that. That is more misinformation. Um, even the anti LGBT groups they donated to years ago. It was, it's really debatable. I mean, like, they, one of the examples they use is the Salvation Army, right? Which <laughs> g it helps poor people. It does have Which some... Which I'm sure helps gay people who are poor or homeless. Yes, but... It does have some personnel policies that you have to, like, you can't be openly gay and work there, I believe. Um, but even then, they stopped donating to them several years ago. It's like they don't do any of this, but people can just spew nonsense call for boycotts and this is hardly the only person still saying lgbt support means boycott chick-fil-a and they don't actually have to have any basis in fact or reality but to, but they're just going to slander these companies well no i mean it's because that side or i guess honestly both sides of politics operate off of emotion so it's like if, if you have an emotional argument nobody's going to go in and actually look at who chick-fil-a funds they're like oh I want to support you, so let's boycott. And then they just have an emotional reaction. And it's like, it's just, uh, I don't know. That video is <laughs> exactly why we have the reputation that we do. I will, I'll give up Chick-fil-A. Like, I'll give up my right to get married before I give up Chick-fil-A. That's how much I like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so, I mean, if anybody tells me to boycott Chick-fil-A, even if they were donating to them, I would probably still be a customer there because they have great customer service and they don't treat me any differently because I'm gay. Not to mention the amount of gay people that work at Chick-fil-A is insane. Every yeah. time I go there, there is a queen behind the counter giving me my chicken sandwich. <laughs> so I don't want to, I don't want to hear that Chick-fil-A is homophobic because they're literally paying our community's bills. I, well, the that's the thing. Even when they were donating to controversial groups, which they no longer do, but even when they were, they never actually treated customers badly or treated employees badly who were LGBT. Right. And when I evaluate a business, whether to boycott them or not, I'm not looking at the personal beliefs of the business owner. I'm looking at what's the actual work they're doing. And if it's bad, I don't want to support it. But if you're making a product people love, welcoming all customers, employing all people, and treating them well, why would I get mad because you personally, your owner doesn't support gay marriage? I mean, 
you can't have a society. What are we going to do? Have Republican restaurants and Democrat restaurants <laughs> and start like checking each other's voting history before we interact? Like, I, I, I just think that's toxic. And I also think it's a bad look if you're trying to promote LGBT acceptance to be telling people they can't have fun things. Like this super right. popular Harry Potter video game. She's saying, you can't play this if you support us. That's not a good way to get support. <laughs> Also, it right. really think... had nothing to do with the video game, right? It's like so you, far removed. It's do you actually think that people will care more about supporting you than they care about, like, Harry Potter? Have you met a Harry Potter fan? Like, of all the, like, optics that you could choose from, you're going to go after Harry Potter fans? Those people are crazy. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like, self-delusion and narcissism that get them into these, like mind spaces that they can compel people's beliefs and actions and it's just so frustrating to watch because a lot of people actually listen to them and, and i think that that's especially on tiktok oh my gosh how oh my active God. are you on tiktok i don't let myself scroll oh, i i only i create so my wide. videos i I try, I try um no i create my videos on tiktok just because the editor is better but i don't scroll on it because i feel like you know that helps with pushing my content out to the right audience, I guess. Yeah, same. I I'm on TikTok. Well, same, but also I do scroll and it's really bad. It's so <laughs> addicting. But also I scroll on Instagram though. That's I how do. They, but that's how I get content for this show though. Honestly, the algorithm oh. has started feeding me socialists and communist content and LGBT cringe because that's the stuff I save and send to all my friends. And <laughs> so yeah. it knows what I want and it feeds it to me and there's a never ending supply of stuff like this. But